Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Um, okay, so today I have a video all about my fillers. Um, it's probably one of my most asked questions from you guys, especially about my lips. I would say daily um, people ask me about my everything else. I've also been quite vocal over on Instagram about my lip filler journey and how they were botched and what I've been doing to fix them. Um, so initially I was going to just do a video on that, but then it ended up being that all of my procedures happened within the week just gone. So I just thought, rather than just do my lips, why don't I just talk about everything? Most of it will be about my lips and the journey there, but um, I will just run you guys through everything. Um, I'll tell you where I get things done. I'll tell you um, all the details and stuff will also be down below. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm also gonna pop some pictures in throughout this so it's not too boring, it's not just me sitting talking. Um, but before I go on, I just wanna say a little disclaimer I'm not saying that filler is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing I'm not saying go out and get filler. I'm not saying anyone needs filler This is just what I do and what I've always done and um, Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you about that my experiences um, So if you don't like filler then just click off the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my lip journey I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the background of them where I went wrong what happened and um how we're up to speed now So I have been getting my lips done since I was about well, 18, that's when you can get them done. So I was basically just turned 18 and I got my uh, lips done for the first time. So I uh, never had an issue with my lips growing up. It was never something that I grew up being self-conscious about. Um, I don't really know what sparked it in my head to get them done, I guess. It's just like new media, um, magazines, celebrities, and then like lip fillers became really popular a few years ago, didn't they? And then Kylie Jenner got hers done, but I think I had mine done. Yeah, mine were done before <laughs> she copied me. No, I'm kidding. Um, I definitely had them done for a few years before the Kylie Jenner craze came around. Um, but I don't know what sparked it, but I definitely had a very small top lip. I felt like when I had lipstick on, you couldn't really see the lipstick on the top lip. It just didn't look right. And I, I just knew that like I could definitely benefit from having filler in my lips. So when I was 18, I went to an amazing doctor in London. At the time I was living in Bristol and I was a student. I went up to London, went to this doctor. I know people personally that he has done, um, worked on their faces through different treatments and I loved the uh, results. So I was all fine going to him. He was amazing. He was just fab and I really, really enjoyed the way my lips looked. Um, but he was in London, I was a student in Bristol and I literally could not afford to get up to London so like pay the train fare, pay the lip filler, so I think the train fare was probably about like £60 um, back then, back then, no, I mean when I was living in Bristol, I think it was about that, but I remember just thinking, God, this is like a lot of money, all, all in all, just to get my lips done. So silly little me uh, researched on Google um, cheap lip fillers in Bristol and I found a doctor. Um, so I would say the standard price is about 350. I think that's what the first guy charged, about 350, 360 uh, for one mil. This lady, I think she charged around like 250, so it was quite a bit less. And she was also in Bristol, so you know, it's quite handy for me. By the way, I'll just say, the doctor in London used Juvederm, which I'm pretty sure is what I have in now, and I, I do like, I like, I like Juvederm, I think that's the best one to go for. I don't know the ins and outs, I wish I could be like more informative with you guys. I think the Juvederm is for volume, I think. Don't quote me. If you Google it, it comes up. So yeah, then I find this cheap um, filler lady, cheap filler lady, it's never that cheap, in Bristol. So she was the kind of doctor who uh, I said I wanted X amount in and she was happy to inject it. So with I think with better doctors um, who do stuff like this, if, you, if I went to a doctor now and said I want two mil put into my lips right now, or like I want three mil on my cheeks, they'll probably be like, no, you're gonna look ridiculous. Whereas this lady was more like, if you're gonna pay me, I'm gonna do what you want kind of thing. She used a different product. She used one called Teal Soul Kiss. Don't think there's anything wrong with that filler. I think a lot of people do tend to use it, but Juvederm's the more popular one. Um, and I ended up going to her for three years and it was a nightmare. So as I said, she would just inject me with whatever I wanted. So, um, and now it's my fault too. Like I was stupid finding someone who probably wasn't the best. Uh, going there way too often and getting way too much put in. So in time, I ended up looking like a duck. My top lip was basically botched. This is where things went downhill. But I didn't realize they were botched for a long time. So I would probably go back, I would say every three months, maybe sometimes less, maybe sometimes a little bit more. Uh, whereas now I probably go every like five, six months. No, that's a lie, probably like four or five months. Um, and I would get a full meal put in and uh, whatever was left, I'd tell her just inject it in these lines here, which I don't think is right. I don't think that the filler that people use in there is the same filler as your lips, but I, 
I, she didn't care, I didn't care, I was like, inject me. <laughs> so I had this like ridge, I'm looking in the viewfinder just so I know I'm pointing in the right place. Um, I had this like ridge up here uh, in the white of my skin above my lip, which looked like a moustache, like a shelf, like a ridge, a big shadow, it was just horrible. So if you're looking to the side, um, where my lip starts underneath my nose, it kind of came out like a shelf rather than it dip out like a normal lip, if you know what I mean. So I just started having really disformed shapes. So my cupid's bow was kind of gone. There was no real like shape to my lips. There were kind of just like two big fat swollen injected lips on my face. And um, yeah, things kind of, I didn't stop going there. I carried on going because I liked them. I left Bristol and I moved to a different city. So I found another doctor. She was fab at her job mostly um, until the end. I really liked the way she did my lips. She sat me down point blank and said, you have filler stuck above your lip and that's not gonna dissolve naturally. Uh, but she said I can fix and try and even out the actual shape of the pink and we can try and get your cupid's bow back and that kind of thing. And at that point I kind of knew like if I was to get my lips fixed, I had to get them dissolved because the filler in the white area of your lip will not dissolve naturally. It only will be able to be removed with the enzyme that you put into your lips to dissolve lip filler in general. Does that make any sense? So I knew for the last three, uh, well how many years? Two years probably, I knew I was gonna have to get them dissolved at some point. Even so, I was like nope, they're not even that bad, like no one's gonna notice, like whatever. I, I kind of, to be honest, like I listened to doctors telling me that they looked bad and my mum and, and who else? My sister. I don't think many other people told me apart from the ones online. Um, but I, I heard you, everyone telling me, but I, I thought they looked good because I just wanted I just, I don't know, I just thought they looked good. Um, but anyway, I kind of knew in the back of my head that I did have to get them dissolved at some point, especially um, in this recent Instagram hype over all these filler pages um, and all the lip filling pages and the doctors and the beauticians, which don't ever go to beautician. Uh, so you start seeing all these like, oh, these lips are botched and this is me fixing them. And I thought, shit, my lips every single time were the botched ones. And I was like, okay, they must actually be bad. Right here is my lips from the side when I had um, them done by this lady in Oxford which look really really bad still from the side but if you saw them from the front they looked a lot better. Around about this time after I've been to this lady maybe four or five times I actually discovered this lady on Instagram whose work I fell in love with. Um, she, oh, I just loved her work. I've, I saw her personal like before and after so I saw other girls that went to her with botched lips and then dissolved lips and then the refill. She's called Dr. Selena and she's amazing. I literally couldn't trust anyone more with my lips or my face. I actually went to Dr. Selena about a year ago um, for something different and during that time we discussed my lips and she said, need to get them fixed and I said, I know, <laughs> I know I do. But around about the time I saw Dr. Selena for the first time, I had my lips done somewhere else and I had this like lump, I'm looking at the viewfinder again, sorry. Um, I'll show I'll put a picture up here for you. So if you can see, my lip kind of hangs down um, to the side and that's really around the time that people on YouTube started saying like, you need to fix your lips, they're really bad. And it kind of like pissed me off after a while. I was like, literally, do you guys not, I like, I know my lips look bad, I don't need people telling me. But I think it's kind of a good thing in hindsight because it did spur me on to get them done quicker. So I remember texting this lady and I said, look, this, this has happened to my lip, what, what can you do for me? Can you fix it? And I kind of half expected her to like, say yeah come in I'll just like put even more in and even them out which would have been the worst thing um but she basically said the only thing I can do is dissolve them um and I didn't want that to happen because at that point I was like I don't know how I'm supposed to get my lips dissolved and walk around for two weeks uh, um with no lips and I just got really stressed about it said whatever leave it and I think I maybe got them done like another time and then I ended up saying right enough is enough I need to get these fixed like it was it was bad so anyway I went to Dr Selena on the 5th of January and here's a picture of my lips straight after I had them dissolved I literally was like oh this looks amazing they're so big but they'd obviously just been swollen uh, dissolving process completely painless literally like I think it was like four or five tiny little injections and then they puffed up and then by the next day completely they were gone um, no bruising or anything really and yeah, so I had to wait two weeks. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I felt so shitty for about a week. I, <laughs> uh, I, I tried to take a picture the day after when they were gone and I cried. Like that's, <laughs> I'm that person, I cried. But whatever, I think the way I describe it to everyone is um, if you're used to looking a certain way for four years and then all of a sudden you don't look that way, 
you're gonna feel shit. You're gonna be like, oh my god, this is so weird. It's like when you get a new haircut, you have to like get used to it, don't you? Then I got them topped up recently. So I got them topped up on Tuesday, just gone. So four days ago, um, I got them refilled. And I, I wanted to film the process, but because I was getting other things done at the same time, um, we got dent she dental blocked me. Dr. Selena uses dental block for lip fillers, so you don't feel anything, so they don't hurt. But dental block numbs your face and <laughs> my face looked very, very odd, let me say that. And I couldn't speak properly and it felt like I was drooling and I just, I didn't film it. So here is a picture of my face that night. And I also had um, other stuff done, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Um, but you can see my lips look a lot better. They don't look swollen, they're not really bruised. They just look, um, well, I think a lot better. So if you can see, I don't have that like ledge that comes out anymore. I kind of more have like that shape. So like I kind of have this like dip where like my lip looks natural. That was like the biggest thing for me because I think the biggest telltale of lip fillers is having like that ridge. Um, so I'm really glad that's gone. So we've basically done all the border work, we've done a little bit of volume and then I'm going to go back in three months. So around May time and I'll get another bit put in just to like make them a little bit more plump and then I'm going to leave them. And I will not go anywhere else now. <laughs> so I think that's another thing. If you find a good doctor, stick with them. Okay, so the next thing I get done is Botox. So if I show you, I actually got this done yesterday and it takes a few days to kick in. So I'll just show you these lines here are what I used to get it done for um, because I would walk around and I would frown and I would look really angry so I basically got Botox at 18 just a few injections to stop that creasing happening um, and then I just kind of never stopped it because I feel like when it wore off I would then go back to doing that face and it would kind of like give me headaches like it would make me strain and like it would hurt so I just carried on getting that done. Um, I now get a little bit more put in. So I've only been to two places, I think, for my Botox. One was a long time ago, and then the next one was um, with one of my favorite ladies ever. She's called Dr. Nina. The same with Dr. Selena and Dr. Nina. I love them both equally, and they're both on Instagram, and they both have a great page, so check them both out. Details will be below. But Dr. Nina, um, I got my Botox done with her about, like, I think probably about a year and a half ago, and I've been going to her ever since. And um, yeah, so she does my Botox. She knows exactly what I like. She knows how much I like. I got my Botox done probably every like four months or five months, I would say. Um, and last time, so I got it done yesterday, so I'll pop a little bit of footage in a minute um, of the procedure. It's completely painless, not sore at all. I got a few injections here and I got a few around the top. Um, and then I also go to Dr. Nina and I get serums put on my face sometimes. So I had a bit of a breakout the other day. I don't know if it's still kind of there. Um, and so normally we do a vitamin A serum, which is just like good for plumping, good, just like a nice uh, mask for the skin or serum. Um, and also before we did that, we did a detox one. So it kind of would help with my breakup and like calm my skin down a bit. So I'll pop that footage in now. I'm gonna put some detox clear serum first okay. um, to detoxify your skin and just to balance the pH of your skin and just help with the um, oil production. Perfect. So last time I, I just put some vitamin A, this time I'm going to put two serums, so it detox clear first just because you've got okay. a little bit of breakout and then after this has uh, been absorbed I'm going to put the vitamin A. Okay, so, perfect. How does that feel? Good. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm going to apply some vitamin A boost um, just to simulate a bit your, your <clears throat> collagen production, your fibroblast and give you a really nice glow. It's perfect. My thing a little bit as well. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna draw some line on your skin. So okay. You can just um, frown for me first. Thank you. And just relax and raise your brows up for me. Thank you. I'm just getting my Botox marked out. Everyone always asks me if it's a sore, and it's literally like the least sore thing ever. You like don't even feel it. You're ready? I feel like a tiny sharp scratch coming. That's it. Okay, you okay? Mm -hmm. Sharp scratch again. So as you can see, we just did the two different serums and then let them sink in a little bit and then we did the Botox on my forehead and that was it. Completely painless, super, super quick and Dr. Nina is amazing. She does everything that you need. So um, I would definitely check her out or pop her down below. Okay, and then the final thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is the only other bit of filler I get done. I've had this stuff done twice now, and again by Dr. Selena. 
um, who did them for the first time for me about a year ago and then I went and got them done again on Tuesday. I get my cheeks done, I get my jawline done and then because of that I get a little bit in my chin just I think it's to like balance it out if that's correct. They say I've only had this done twice and I don't think I'll ever not get it done now. I honestly love it. Dr. Selena is just, oh, honestly the two doctors are amazing. She is just like she just knows where to put it, like I just, I don't know, it's just, I just love it. And there's no bullshit with her, she's like, okay, sit down, numbs you up, and then it's like, injection, 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 then you're like, done. <laughs> so I really, really like um, her as well, I think she's blooming amazing. So we put a bit in my cheeks, which I'm going to look in the viewfinder again. As you can see, maybe, it kind of gives me, I have makeup on obviously, but it kind of gives me like a little bit of a contour here. Um, and it just, I don't know, I think it just makes my cheeks a little bit higher, makes them, everything just look a little bit more sculpted, sculpt, sculpted, sculpted. <laughs> then I got my jawline done, so again, nothing too drastic or harsh, but it's just creating like that nice, um, sleek jawline, a nice little shadow. And then I get my chin done, which you guys probably won't even notice, but it's just a tiny little bit in the chin and it just kind of like brings that into like her, that way. That make any sense again i didn't really have any footage from that because i was dental blocked and i just looked crazy but um i do have some pictures of it of that night so here's a picture of me um that evening straight after getting everything done see where like my cheekbones are you can see my jawline's a little bit more sculpted um and yeah i just absolutely love it and i know it's not for everyone and i'm not telling 12 year olds who are watching me to get it done i'm just saying it's what i get done and I've got no shame of it. Hey, and that is everything. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do want to just say again, I'm not saying go out and get filler. I'm not saying filler is amazing for you. I'm just saying this is what I get done. I have absolutely no shame in my filler. I don't see the point in hiding filler or Botox or anything. I genuinely don't care if people know that I have it. So um, yeah, people are going to have their opinions, but that's fine. So any questions you guys have that I've maybe missed or um, anything that I haven't... Uh, you guys are wondering about just let me know and i will get back to you on that um and yeah i think that's it all the information will be down below for dr selena and dr nina just so you know i will never go anywhere else but these two doctors now i think they're both blooming amazing and um yeah i trust them both 100 percent with everything so um yeah i would definitely check them out and i could not recommend them enough they're honestly fab um and so yeah everything will be in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed this um and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.